You can build a working replica of Michael Faraday's original DC motor using just a few simple, inexpensive materials. We'll be using salt water, a small piece of modeling clay, a small piece of aluminum foil, a 9 volt transistor battery, two pieces of stiff copper wire, plastic straw, three small paper clips, three alligator clip connecting wires, a knife switch, a two liter plastic bottle cut as a bowl, some transparent tape, and a stack of small neodymium magnets. We'll now construct the motor. First thing I want to do is take a small piece of modeling clay and place it in the bottom of our plastic bowl. The modeling clay will serve as a support to keep the stack of neodymium magnets vertical. We'll then fill the tub with salt water, which will be a conducting solution. Michael Faraday used mercury, but um, there are obvious safety hazards involved with trying to replicate this using mercury. I'll then secure the cap back on top of the two liter bottle because the two liter bottle will serve as a support to hold our one of our connecting wires in place. So I will take some transparent tape and tape the plastic straw to the top of the two liter bottle to help support one of our long copper wires that has a hook bent on the end. I will place it through the straw so that the end hangs just above the stack of magnets. I'll then take the three paper clips and I'll make a paper clip swivel that will hang from this copper wire. The three paper clips acting as a swivel will allow free motion of our second copper wire with a hook on it that will be suspended down into the saltwater bath. You want to make sure that the copper wire extends far down into the salt water but is not impeded in its motion by bumping into the modeling clay. Now we'll want to complete our circuit and to do that we will use alligator clip wires connect from our switch to our 9 volt battery then we'll go from the 9 volt battery up to our copper wire that is through the plastic straw. Our second connection we will fold our aluminum foil and we will st stick the aluminum foil into the salt water bath. And then the outer piece of the aluminum foil will be connected to our other alligator clip wire. When I close the switch, current flows through the, dry, through the battery, through this wire, through the paper clips, into the copper wire, into the conducting salt water solution, into the aluminum foil, and back through the switch. When the switch is closed, the magnetic field around the current bearing copper wire suspended in the salt water bath will interact with a permanent magnet, magnetic field around the neodymium magnets and that interaction will cause motion. And there you have it. When the switch is opened, current stops flowing and the motion stops. <laughs>